Hello guys, Marco here. Today I wanted to do a brief video examining a very interesting aspect of uh, supply management in Canada and uh, more generally communism. So um, what I want to explore is, is the idea of having choice in consumer goods in, uh, in basically in the economy. And for uh, my first example I wanted to highlight a particular story about uh, Vladimir Klitschko. So for anyone that doesn't know that was uh, the boxing heavyweight champion for a long time. And anyway I was watching a biography on him and he's from the Soviet Union or I think he's Ukrainian but the Soviet Union at the time or whatnot. And uh, basically, uh, he was going through his whole biography as a child and just alone, the story that he has growing up in the Soviet Union and the conditions there is scary enough. But then uh, there's a particular instance where he describes uh, having his uh, first uh, big bout in America and his shock about uh, going to the grocery store and seeing all the different types of cheese available. And there's an instance where he goes, you know, in the Soviet Union, we only had one type of cheese, cheese, and that's all you've got. That's all you could get. So he describes about uh, just the ability to go to a grocery store and having all these different brands and types of cheeses that you could buy. And, uh, and he was saying, you know, I really like cheese, so having all this choice was great for me. You know, and uh, that's a particular interesting aspect of the debate of supply management in Canada. Uh, because, you know, of course, obviously Canadians aren't given a choice. You have to buy uh, basically the cheese that is provided to you by uh, the lobbyists and the processors uh, in the supply management cartel. And that's all you can get, right? And uh, the other second instance uh, that uh, kind of became evident to me was also Bernie Sanders when he was campaigning to become uh, the presidential nominee for the Democratic Party in the United States. He also made a comment that got quite a lot of traction. He was saying, you know, in the grocery stores, why do we have so much free choice in goods? You know, that's not efficient. Why should I we go to the grocery store and see like seven different types of bread and seven different types of this and this that you know that's not efficient the government and, and I'm paraphrasing here and I'm not saying he said this is exactly, but he was hinting at the fact that the government should force all the different brands to consolidate and that would be more efficient right so there's this aspect of uh, communism and socialists to want to limit choice right you as a consumer don't need choice, shouldn't have choice. They're very anti-choice in terms of this aspect. And uh, right now I want to show you guys a clip. Uh, so I've been uh, trying to follow uh, the situation of supply management in Hudson and Poldy. And I saw this uh, particular clip by uh, Mr. Ashley Chapman, which I guess is the owner of uh, Chapman's Ice Cream in Canada. And he had uh, a very interesting take on uh, supply management in Canada. So let's roll that clip for you right now. There's of Canadian cream each year, and they wouldn't have it any other way. We have no interest in uh, using American dairy in our products. Canadian dairy is far superior in my opinion. So if Chapman's got a vote, I can tell you 100% it would be no. Keep the supply management in place, please. Okay, so you heard it right there. Mr. Chapman has uh, no intention of using U.S. cream in his ice cream because Canadian cream is far superior. Now, uh, I'm not trying to be facetious here, but I have no difference if uh, cream uh, milk from uh, a cow in Canada is better than uh, cream milk from a cow in the U.S. I don't know if there's any difference, but uh, let's even assume let, let's assume there is a difference. If supply management were to be ended or reformed, there is nobody saying that you have to use U.S. milk. You can still use Canadian dairy. It's not like Canadian dairy is going to disappear. But I just don't understand how you have a moral right to tell me or anybody else what kind of dairy I should use. Give us the choice, man. Let's reform supply management. Let's bring this industry, this sector of the economy into the first 21st, 21st century, along with all the other farms in Canada. Supply management farms don't even, they're not even 10% of all the farms in Canada or 10% of the whole sector. So realistically, guys, it's time we do in the 21st century. So that's all I have to say for now, guys. Uh, make sure to comment. Uh, share the video and uh, let's get Canadians talking about supply management because 
it's egregious that in the 21st century, this system of uh, socialism that uh, limits choice in Canada is still standing. This system simply has to go or has to be reformed. So that's it for now, guys. I'll see you next time.